I would definitely say our love is extreme love. Not everybody can handle what it takes to have a three-person relationship. There's people that are going to judge, of course, because there's people that are religion. That's my daughter. Why didn't I not know this? I had to deal with all that. I prayed, I cried, I blamed myself. How did I not see this? What did I do wrong? My name is Ashley, and this is my husband, Matt, and my wife, Kayla. For us, it's a poly triad, and we're a close triad, so we are um, basically in a poly relationship with three people instead of a regular monogamous relationship with two people. Everything's equal. Like, there's no one first wife, second wife, and um, our kids are all treated equally. There's not, I'm so sorry, this kid. Can we go tell him to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have eight kids, but we have three adults plus two grandparents in the house. I had four kids before Matt and Ashley, and then when me and Matt, me and, Matt and Ashley met, they only had three at the time. Ashley got pregnant with Julian, and then we kind of just blended in. We have eight kids now. <laughs> There's more love, more kids, more, more fun, more happy times, more playing, um, lots of help to get each other around and take care of what needs to be done. Can I eat them? No, you gotta cook these. I basically was the one who brought up us all being in a poly relationship together. I had only ever been with Matt since I was a teenager, um, and I had always been kind of curious about women as well for different reasons. We were going through a lot of things. We kind of always had our ups and downs, me and Matt. I thought maybe it would be a good idea to try something completely different. It led to be him introducing me to Kayla and us all heading it off. We sleep in the same bed. We have since the beginning. We never had our own bedrooms or anything like that because that would cause a lot of jealousy as well. Uh, we just try to keep it down to a minimum by that. Sexual pleasures are definitely a lot more when there's three people involved. I feel that Kayla shows me just as much as love as Ashley and Ashley shows me as much as love as she shows to Kayla. So. I think it's pretty well-rounded. I would say that my parents are really shocked by all of this. I never really disclosed to anyone that I was interested in both women and men. Um, so I think that was kind of more the obstacle for them to wrap their head around. I'm Ashley's mother, Matt's mother-in-law, and Kayla's bonus mom, I guess. <laughs> Honestly, I freaked out that that style of relationship is not, I mean, I'm old school. So it was hard for me to comprehend something like that. I was kind of surprised that my daughter had an interest even in women. Her and her husband had been together since they were 15 years old, so it was hard for me to, I guess I, I was angry at myself that I, didn't under, that I didn't realize it after all these years. I mean, that's my daughter. Why didn't I not know this? And I had to deal with all that. It's always been a man and a woman, or it's just a man or just a woman. And I don't know, I think that, that idea comes from religion a lot and it's forced upon people and that's why religious people look at us like we're very bad people. We ain't doing anything different than a monogamous relationship. There's just three people that are involved with this. I don't care what people think. We're still gonna do it if we want to. I mean, that's just how we are. That kind of thing was just hard for me to deal with. It took me a little bit of time and I adjusted. I had to do some soul searching. You know, it's making her happy. It's what she wants and that's what's important. Yeah, I still have a little bit of hair that comes up on the back of my neck when I see them be affectionate to each other. But it's, it's, this is the 21st century, I guess. It's what it is. Before I met Matt, um, my life was, it was a life of a single parent because I worked full time and I took care of my four kids on my own. We just started talking more and more and took off. <laughs> At the beginning, I was a little bit nervous about introducing the kids to Matt and Ashley. I was very scared how I was going to be looked at, how my children would look at me. I did talk to my children about it and they kind of like, kind of weirded out because, you know, a child doesn't understand. They're, they go to school thinking they're just going to have mom and dad and mom and dad only. Little by little, my family kind of came around. We're just a normal, typical family. I don't see anything different. No, Grandma just bought a new um, thing for that. I have three brothers and 
four sisters. I'm older than all of them. I have two moms. It was kind of weird at first, you know? I don't care what people think. It's just how they are. And everyone's different in the world, so. I wouldn't really say there's drawbacks of a poly relationship so much. I mean, there's obstacles that we go through for sure. Um, the, some of the funny challenges are things like, you know, school and doctors and, you know, explaining a stepmom and a stepdad. It's the same thing as a regular relationship. We, we go through the same things. We have fights, we have jealousies. Um, obviously a lot more jealousies with us because there's three of us. It feels like a normal re relationship. The three of us wouldn't work without one of us. We love each other, we care for each other, we want to be there for each other and grow old together. So that's what we want and that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Whether the world likes it or not. <laughs> I would definitely say our love is extreme love. Not everybody can handle what it takes to have a three-person relationship, but I wouldn't say that it's it's so extreme that nobody else should consider it because it can be a really beautiful thing.